this fucking beastie. has been my favourite podcast I think I've ever done in my life, <laughs> and I'll be always up for doing a sequel to this. Do you know what this was? This was like you know when you have that spontaneous night out, like no one expected it, and then it turns out to be a fucking quality night out. That's yeah. what this podcast was. Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to this very, very bonus episode of Jack Makes Happy Hour. I'm with Stevie. You are indeed. And Jordan. Are you alright? And the thing is, there's two reasons that this bonus episode exists. The first reason being that our guest that we were supposed to have uh, dropped out 15 minutes before recording, so we had nothing better to do. And the second reason was we were out in the lobby and we were all feeling a bit tired, like we were going to fall asleep, so we thought we may as well utilise our time, come in here, throw some shit at the wall and see what sticks. And now they get to listen to that. That's it. (laughs) Yeah. So don't say that we don't treat you right. Exactly. If you're listening to this, it means two things. One thing, we've either made a really good podcast or second thing, it's terrible, but that's how little we care about you. That's it. There we go. But ultimately, either way, it's free to stop moaning. That's it. (laughs) So, guys, I want to kick off this miscellaneous podcast by asking you. Oh. Stevie put a tweet out the other day that I quite enjoyed and oh. it did well. And Stevie, basically, you made your ideal takeaway. I did. I'm fat. This not, is what we're starting with. Sorry, not right. takeaway. Fast food. Oh. We're all, we're all yeah. fans of fast food here because when we come up um, from Norwich to London, we we stop off at petrol stations <laughs> and services and we That's get it. and we have we to do. get these things. So, Stevie, you said if you could make your ideal fast food meal. Yeah. It would contain what? So this went from us, actually, on the way home from the podcast last week. We went to Burger King. We did. I used to despise Burger King. Why? But I've come... Because I had it... I always had, like, McDonald's as a kid, and we went as a family once to Burger King purely because they were doing Pokemon toys as their little Happy oh, Meal I thing. I fucking love that, And I man. got this fucking brilliant Snorlax. So I was like, I'm definitely oh, going to no. Burger King Such for that. Such a good Pokemon as well. <laughs> Literally the only reason I wanted to. Um, and my whole family got ill from it. Oh, so, shit. Food poisoning. Yeah, what, from yeah. the Snorlax? <laughs> shit. No. Um, toxic, and then, toxic. Yeah, and then... Um, yeah, from that, I never had it. And then recently I've been back a few times and their burgers are just... The burgers it's in the are title, it's in the clue. Yeah, they, yeah they, 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 I think they do piss on McDonald's. The yeah. burgers, mm. certainly. Yeah. However, certainly. I do also think their fries aren't quite as good. Right, so, you, so you're picking you. the burger substance, you're going Burger King. Yep. Fries, you're going... McDonald's. I think you're about to say exactly what I'd say. And then you go to KFC... So we had this conversation about KFC. I got a few replies saying, why wouldn't you just get the chicken from KFC? KFC is one of those where you go if you're feeling it, but you yeah. don't always want a KFC because yeah. it's quite greasy. That's not the... You have to be in the mood. Yeah. So so you get the gravy well, well, only. I was going to say, let's say at the same time. Just <laughs> I was going to say gravy. I'm exactly the same. Burger so yeah, King burger. Burger King burger. McDonald's, McDonald's chips. fries. KFC gravy. 100%. Yes, yeah, a lot of people agreed. Some people just replied, go and get a Chinese, but that wasn't the point of it. <laughs> it was. I think, that, I think that's a very, very good shout. I think sometimes with KFC, you can get the, you know, the um, just the normal recipe chicken, so they yeah. call it. Sometimes that can be fucking lovely, and mm. other times that can be the worst, grisliest, yeah. like, exactly. fattiest yeah. like, bit of chicken you've ever had in your 100%. life. 100%. So guys, what we want to what we want from you now, if you're listening to this on iTunes, then do tweet us at Jack's Happy Hour. Remember the double A's and Jack's, and let us know what would your what would your perfect takeaway yeah, be? Yeah, the um, ideal culmination. Yeah, perhaps I keep saying takeaway. I mean fast food. Yeah, right? yeah. So, so what what I want to what I want to ask you now? I'll give my opinion. No, actually, I think I'm exactly the same. Mm. I think I am exactly the same. Although sometimes I don't go for KFC gravy, and I go beans. I like to switch it up. That's Ooh. unusual. Is it? I, yeah. I, 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 I think t- it's because I have a hatred for beans now. So it's probably because of yeah. that, that. I can't. Yeah. I mean, I'd say if uh, the thing with KFC gravy, just just quickly going back to the gravy, like I absolutely adore KFC gravy. But I have to say, the gravy, the consistency can be really thin or really thick or somewhere in between. Like there's no like set yeah. consistency. And also, d- it's a mystery I, though. I, I, do you know how it's made? It's Cause from the f- it's because yeah it? so it's so basically someone yeah someone who used to work at KFC told me how the gravy was made to try and put me off but it tastes too good basically apparently um, and this is this is a solid source I will have you know and when I say solid source I know he worked at KFC um, so at the end of the day <laughs> the gravy is literally a solid source <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day um, all of like the chicken scraps and shit gets scraped. Put into a to a to a vat container type thing, 
and then that is then reduced like a stock, as you would to be fair with a normal chicken stocker to to make to make the gravy. So it's basically all the shitty bits at the end thrown into a big thing and then made into to gravy for the flavour, which would explain the inconsistency inconsistency of the. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I got that. It took a yeah. second to get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> inconsistency of, in the consistency yeah. of the sauce. Uh, right. Uh, well what, played. So what I want to know now is moving on from that. That's your because I kept saying takeaway. I didn't mean that. I meant fast food. Takeaways. I'm talking Chinese. Mm. Mm. What is the go to? First of all, as Stevie quite rightly said to me in the car the other day, you have to be with other people if you're getting a Chinese. Yeah. You otherwise, can't it's way too much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've tried to once, and you just mm. feel ill because yeah. you're eating Chinese for four days. You know, yeah. people are just going to go Stop even. Eating and, <laughs> and and I I feel like even even if you're sharing, you you still need to to have like similar tastes. Like I had I had a Chinese with friends once, and um, basically no one else wanted chicken balls. But I was like, I'll stick chicken, and then all of a sudden I've got ten chicken balls in front of me, and I'm like, oh bollocks. Yeah. You know, so yeah. you so it's it's not only is it not a solo meal, it's most definitely a share and platter. Yeah, because yeah, throughout. you have to get a whole like a whole array of things. I I've done eight before chicken balls. I've done eight. I like that you counted. I've Jesus. done eight. No, because I would but have done be, ten, but someone else that, wanted two. Oh. <laughs> That's very specific. Yeah. I was Do you think gutted. you were you confident you could have gone through I all ten? I reckon I could. I reckon I could. But what That's I want to know from you guys, day. you can get 100%. a whole array of stuff from 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 a Chinese. Yeah. What's the first thing? What's one thing you're definitely getting? Honestly, yeah, it's basic, but I don't care. I love the flavor of a Chinese chicken curry. I love a Chinese chicken Just curry. Chinese chicken curry. The taste, the flavor in that Chinese chicken curry is fucking immense. The amount of people who have said, "What would you get from a Chinese?" and I'll say a chicken curry, and I'll go, "That's an Indian." No, Chinese no. do a chicken Chi- curry yes, as well. Specifically, Chinese chicken curry. Is it, it is good. Is it different to an Indian? Oh yeah, chicken? is it? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Chinese chicken curry is good. Is it? It? Oh yeah. I'm excited now because I don't Honestly. think I've probably had one. Really? I, I kind of like. It's, I can see. Yeah. I can feel the energy Gen- in the room. Genuinely, <laughs> genuinely, like, like. Okay, I'm gonna write. So, a Chinese chicken curry for me is up there, and Jack's gonna know how much. I appreciate this type of food. The, a Chinese chicken curry for flavour is up there for me with a chicken katsu curry. Is it? 100%. It's big, big shouts. 100%. Big shouts. I love a katsu. I'd, I'd actually probably prefer just the chicken curry. Would you? Yeah. But you don't like rice that much. No, I don't. But I, I, I sometimes, because Fiona loves the sushi, so we order from Yo quite a lot. Yeah. And and I, I'll, get a, I'll get a katsu curry and I'll just stomach the rice. It's fine. Or then, can I just ask if this becomes a clip? Because I genuinely want to know in the comments down below, guys: katsu curry, yo sushi, or wagger mamas? Because I've had both, and I was waggers for the longest time. Went over to yo sushi, and they do they do just just do nab it. 100%. I think I think yo sushi's might be a bit better, and they also do a, a, a sumo size. Yeah, I've had that. So, I think wagger mamas rice is slightly too sticky for me, mm. and. It, Feels a bit dry, so you don't get enough sauce. So, yeah, so, yeah. so you're going. Are you both saying the first thing on Sorry, your Chinese? Yeah, Chinese, or is that? Chinese chicken curry for me. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, mine, and 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 this isn't the sole thing I'm basing it around, but this is always on my order. Is is um shredded beef? All shredded beef. I'm not a good. big fan of beef. I'm not. I'm not a big fan I'm of chili, and that's why it's quite hot. A... Big beef There's a fan. place I go in Norwich called Wok China, and they do a sweet and sour version. And oh, Jesus, good. that is good. That is good. It's it's so crispy, and probably well, inevitably, it's so unhealthy. But, <laughs> but, but it's like it's almost the beef is secondary, and you're just eating the crispy batter. Really, right, that's yeah. what you're eating. But it's yeah. it's chewy, it's sweet and sour, and it's just fucking lovely. Decent. It is really good. Right now, so before we move on, are we rice or noodles? <sighs> I, oh, I do love a chicken is, chow mein, but then... I, I'm definitely noodles. Your noodles, noodles. Yeah. I can't do too much rice. It bores me. I'm I like think, a pigeon. But if you get... I, the thing with rice, though, is you tend to have it with a sauce. Yeah. This is probably going to sound quite odd. Basically, if I'm ordering from a Chinese, I'll go egg fried rice. But when I make it myself at home, I, a chicken, Chinese chicken... And when I, I'm not, I'm not going to over-glorify it. I mean, when I get like a, a, a jar of Chinese chicken curry, <laughs> dice up some chicken and put... Then I will go for noodles because you can get these. Uh, I can't remember the brand, something like. That. Anyway, they're, they're like these nests of yeah. noodles, and you just you just chuck them in boiling water. Oh my god, that's so good. A moy, so, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you just chuck them in. I've got like a blue dragon. Type yeah, moy, yeah. That's where me and Robbie Knox so met good. on an moy cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, if you're at home, 
Oh, so what are your noodles, eh, Stevie? No, I, I, I probably 50 50. This has got to be the day. most boring episode for people out there. Nah, people no, are think they're going to be loving this yeah. and right. get very hungry. I've got my next question. I, I assume this is slowly turning into an episode all about food, but we'll see how we get on. <laughs> um, what I want to know is, right, first of all, I'm going to ask you a traditional question, then go a bit left field. First of all, meal deal. Yeah. I want to know. What sandwich are you going for? What's the what are you scanning at Tesco? No, what shop does the best one? I think Ooh. I've already said it. Tesco do the best meal deals. Nah. Cheap. Oh, I disagree. Cheerful. Do you know what? I tell you who else are in with a shout. And this is a little bit left field. Oh, here we go. Waitrose. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Tory. No, co-op. Yeah. Because what? co-op. Co-op do freshly made baguettes. They make them in the morning, they throw them out there, and they're part of the meal deal. Are Are they? Yeah, reasonable price as well. But but, but co-op is expensive. Three fifty for a meal deal. That's I know right. you're looking at three quid in Tesco, but although I would just like to say because it did disgust me um, on the way down here today, service station. I mean, it is a service station. What do you expect? But we saw that meal deal was at four pound ninety five, yeah. something like that. Disgusting. That was great. We literally disgusting. just walked away. But, yeah. but in the grander scheme of things, still not that bad. Because if you go, if you go get like a five-piece chicken select meal from Mackey, oh, you're yeah. going to be paying. I was about to say quid. we walked away from that meal deal, and then when we got Subway, and yeah. at Subway you didn't get a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's very you did, true. and yours came to about eight quid. Yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. valid point. Yeah. Valid point. Right. So but if I had to choose, I'm going Tesco. I would, do you know what, out of sheer quantity of meal deals I've had, I'll probably have to join you on Tesco. But I'm just saying, as an honorary mention, co-op okay. are up there. Fair enough. Special mention. I'd possibly go Boots. And okay. the reason is the snack. So all sandwiches yes. are nearly always the same. Boots is yeah. one of the only places that the snack can be like fridge raiders. Like yeah. You don't have to go and get chocolate or crisps. You can literally you get like... You do raiders in Tesco. I'll have you know. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah, because I do. <laughs> I, right. I get them. But you you do... That's a good point. There's a Boots. I, well, all Boots, I assume. But um, <laughs> they do uh, they do these like ridge fucking crisps that aren't McCoy's but are well nice. Yeah. What are they now? Oh, I have no idea. They, they famously do like a paprika flavour. People are going to be shouting. I thought, oh, always the, the ones well, are, they, are they the Walker's Max? They're no? a bit like them. Bit they're, like th- them. they're a thinner version of Walker's, but they're oh, nice. I, don't know. Oh, no, I can't remember sure. now. Can't remember. But the other thing with boots, anyway, is the drinks. You can get any of the drinks. So, like, you can get like this three pound innocent smoothie, oh. and then you still only spend three pound thirty on your whole meal. Do you? Yeah, you yeah. actually just reminded me, right? Now going back to co-op, they do this. It's like co-op. It's like this. Vi- it's, uh, it's like this vitamin water, right? But listen, <laughs> hear me out because it's like dragon fruit and mandarin flavor, and yeah. it is good. incredible. And it's part good. of the meal deal, yeah. But all, I tell you, but for me, unless I'm being healthy, for me with a meal deal, that obviously you want the right flavors. I also <laughs> this is going to sound like this. I also like to maximize. Um, Your profit margin. Yeah. So, like, I'm not getting a small Fucking can Alan of Sugar Red. I'm it. not getting a small <laughs> can of Red Bull. I'm getting the girthy fucker that normally costs about two ninety five by itself. What so you that get that in the meal deal? Yeah. Because then, mate, if you get six, seven quids worth in your meal deal, I'm like, that's set me up for the day. I was just like, this is class. I don't think you get the big Some places, ones. Yeah, yeah, Tesco man. don't allow yeah, it. But co-op do. So do boots. Oh, what, you can get the small the, one or the, the big one? The, the yeah, proper, get... gi- like, there's three in there. They're the proper thick, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's got to be a meal deal loophole. That. Yeah, yeah. Without, that's what I mean. It's, I like, two, it's like two ninety five by itself. So I'm like, yeah. well, that's come decent. at me. You get like, see, sometimes I'm really going efficient. I'll go like fucking... The, the big juicy Red Bull, right? The sugar one, because sugar tax as well. Let's throw that in there. <laughs> Fuck it, why not, right? <laughs> then you get like, um, you get the sandwiches where you can get two, or you can get like the three meat or whatever. So you've got like three sandwiches. Yeah. yeah so that's even more for your money. I Fantastic. Always wonder, where's then the other the, half gone, though? In another packet, probably. Ah, uh, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't make one and at then, a time. And then just like a fuck, I don't know, Quaver's Big Eat or something. But the Big Eat is the key. So so you literally got a big packet of crisps, three that's, sandwiches and a fucking that's girthy decent. Red Bull. Too much of anything. Yeah, but how 100%. weird is that? Yeah, you could just go in a shop, get that triple pack sandwich and you and another random human somewhere <laughs> sharing <laughs> a sandwich. sandwich. You've never met I've them. never thought of that before. <laughs> that's weird. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's quality. Yeah, that's quality though. So, so right, we're going. Let's just go traditional. Let's go Tesco. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. What, what sandwich are we going for? I'll kick it off. I'll give the same every time. Chicken, bacon, lettuce. Fair. 
fair. I yeah. mean, ah, see, I tend to mix it up. But I don't it, mix it. Do you not? Nah. See, I sometimes go for a BLT, but to be honest, the majority of the time, I like a nice turkey stuffing and mayo. That's very, that's very Christmassy, that. <laughs> to be Do fair, it is nice. I, I, it is good. I, what, is it? Yeah. yeah. Turkey and stuffing. I can yeah, do. I can man. do that outside of December. Or, or <laughs> it's not wrong. Outside of Dece- <laughs> it's sold all year round. Yeah, but I can eat it outside December. <laughs> what you'd feel okay. wrong to I'm do? A, it. I'm a traditionalist. Yeah, it's like <laughs> eating cranberry on a pizza that's, outside December. That's grim. Yeah. Jesus, nah, there's a, there's a place cranberry. in Norwich called Voodoo Daddy's. I like the promotion you're giving to these Norwich takeaways today. I'm, I'm a fan I'll, of my home uh, city. Right? I'll bleep that out. We'll talk to them about a brand. If they <laughs> yeah. say yes, I'll let it in. No, we there's a place called Voodoo Daddy's in Norwich. They actually sub- do the do the supply the kitchen for Gonzo. So they do all the wings oh, and that. And they do. Oh yeah, the, shout out to them wings by the oh, way. Fucking you two, go, you two took me there the other week. It was decent. If you guys haven't, if you guys are around Norwich or anything and you, and you want some wings, go to Gonzo's. They do some fucking class yeah. wings. They if were you, good. If you go between three and six on a Friday, Monday. Day to Friday, they're half price. That's so it. you can get twelve wings for three quid. Bloody brilliant! <laughs> and and they're, they're, they're yeah. so good. They sent an ad. They sent an ad. What, what were the ones we had? Bacon and maple and bacon. Maple and bacon. And Saturday, yeah, when I was hungry, I had I had salt s- ones. Yeah, which they were, were very nice. S- yes, but salty. But yeah, Awful it was though. Salty. After one or two, <laughs> yeah. you're like, you know, like even, fucking gas. Yeah, couldn't, yeah, couldn't even. <laughs> Couldn't even push like a grain of fucking sand through through. through no, you wanted to shower, like, shower, shower your mouth off. Yeah. You wanted to share them, is what I was meaning yeah. to say, but it still yeah. worked. So I, I when I was hungover on Saturday, Saturday I ordered some maple and bacon wings from Voodoo Daddy's. Did Come you? in a little box, lovely. Boom. I ordered Fiona a hot pocket called Your Nan's uh, Your Nan's allotment hot pocket, nice. full of veg. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> so sandwich. I'm go. You know what I'm going. What are you going? You go uh, um, no, do you know what? I'm gonna go for all day breakfast. I was about to say, wow, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it depends on the day. I think shop sandwiches could be really dry, mm. so <laughs> one with a sauce is good. Yes, all day breakfast has ketchup in it. Yeah, well, you like that? Yeah, yeah. small amount of ketchup is what, all right. I don't what know. actually comes in that then? So Sausage, got, yeah, egg, egg, and bacon. Yeah, egg. See, egg in a packet for me. Nah, <laughs> no, because it's egg mayo, isn't it? It's not just. What? It's yeah, not like a fried it's like, egg. It's like egg know. mayo. Is it? Also, I'm, I'm not, I might be completely wrong, right? Do is there no such thing as an egg and cress sandwich anymore? I haven't seen yeah. cress in years. No, nah, still rocking. Because you've been going out. to co-op. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, need to into, I need to. I need to go. <laughs> no, fucking, I need to get into M and S. Have you ever? Like... Have you ever been in M M&S and S supermarket? And looked at their meal deal. I literally wandered in there once. I didn't buy anything. All right, I'm not a Tory. But when I was in there, I was like, I need to look at their meal deals, right? Because I'm literally surrounded by trust fund babies. Right? Let's have a look. Yeah. So I go there, and they're like five quid, right? The snack, rather than like your fridge raiders or quavers, it's like quinoa. And then like the drinks, you either get like a bottle of water with fucking lemon, whatever in it, or it's like <laughs> you're trying like to think a... of a posh drink and eat <laughs> water with lemon. In it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, but then it's like fucking um, I don't know, like blueberry, fucking rapeseed, and uh, like <sighs> kale <laughs> and and kale smoothie. Have you seen like, that? Absolutely mental. They they do do crisps, and I thought, God, look, they're, they're they're normal people. They got crisps, and I looked, and I swear to God, yeah, I picked up a packet, and it said Chardonnay flavor crisp. <laughs> How can you have Chardonnay, you fucking animal? That is oh, disgusting. Do you know, I actually threw it on the floor, stamped on it, and walked out. That's it. I didn't. Seven right. quid. Seven quid. That would have <laughs> <quid, laughs> yeah. cost you. So you go in for your sandwiches. You go in all day breakfast. Yes. Ch- Possibly, chicken, yeah. bacon, lettuce. What snacks? Probably fridge raiders. <clears throat> yeah? I, chocolate, I only eat on certain... Like, I'm not the biggest chocolate fan. I'll eat it occasionally. I have to have a biscuit eat chocolate, and you hated that. You yeah, kicked off at me I don't last like week. The texture of he that. genuinely kicked off at me for wanting a Twix. You don't go <laughs> in the, like we're at a <laughs> service station. I, I, I was there, weren't I? Yeah, I'm we, pretty sure I yeah. overheard this yeah. in the distance. You don't go to a service station where there's a whole array of chocolates like Willy Wonka's fucking chocolate factory <laughs> in there. You can get anything, and you've gone. I went. I'll get you a chocolate bar, Stevie. What do you want? And you went. I'll have a Twix. <laughs> I wanted to get a biro and stab your fucking eye out. I didn't see that. Why is that, is, that what so wrong? I, what did I get? That is what disgusting, I mate. I sometimes... Like a whisper? I, yes, Mate, that's fine. you picked up a fucking fruit and nut bar and you're kicking off at me. Shut the fuck up. Let me, <laughs> no, right, right. I, can I, I just want to clarify that I... You know when you do something you're not proud of? Like, you know, <laughs> yes. a, a few years ago, we all got a little bit into Bieber. Like, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. um, he was bringing out banger after banger. Exactly. It's so annoying. You can't deny it, yeah. <laughs> but you're not proud no, still. 100%, 100%. That's my not proud moment. I can eat a dairy milk fruit and nut bar 
and I'm proud of it. And I like a Yorkie fruit and nut. Raisin and biscuit. Raisin yeah, and biscuit, that's what good. you wanted. Yeah. 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 Weird. I like and I, I like I'm it. the issue. But yeah, no. Often, I, I won't often get chocolate. Crisps, I'd be more... Well, no, 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 wait. We're not getting on crisps yet. We're no, not getting on crisps. you're saying no, the no, snack. Wait, yeah, wait. No, we're still talking about chocolate because you've brought it up and okay. it's, it's made me a bit... I'm a, a bit <laughs> irate here. I've done a video <laughs> with... Um, I did a video with Pete Tubes um, from Soccer AM, a friend of the show. He His favourite chocolate bar... Oh, it makes me feel sick saying it. Jordan, tell him because I can't do it. Oh. Do you remember what it was? Wasn't it the uh, it was <laughs> the boost? Fuck, it was a fucking <laughs> boost. boost. I like boost. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say it's my favourite, but um, if Boost is up there, no, it is what's your favourite? Boost is up there. What, Double what, Decker, what, Whisper. What's my god tier? Yeah, what is your favourite? Oh yeah, chocolate it's that bar? fucked up thing that no one's ever heard of, isn't it? Was it Mr. Tierney or something? <laughs> what? What are they called? <laughs> Mr. Tierney. <laughs> Mr. Tierney. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> what are they? They're, they're mint foam buttercup things. Oh yeah, what you is like those? Those? Fries, peppermint cream. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mr. Tony coming from? See, that sounds really, that sounds really Tory. What? I don't Fuck no. Peppermint fr- cream. Uh, fries, peppermint cream. And do you like Turkish <laughs> Me delights? and Alfie, me and Alfie take Nala out. We have a fries, peppermint cream on a Sunday. It's what we do. If you don't like it, Jordan, get over yourself. <laughs> I Jeez. will. And you Sat can... in the corner with a whisper. <laughs> You can get a fries peppermint cream, which is the, which is the one that I always get, and that's the green one. Or you can get fries Isn't spare. Sp- no, spearmint. What one? What spearmint usually? Is that blue or green? Blue normally. Yeah, you can yeah. get that. So my nan gets that, and I get the green one. Me and nan, <laughs> you and your nan are eating the same chocolate. Yeah. I like. Um, I like um, Turkish delight. I fucking hate Turkish delight. <laughs> <laughs> that is a. That was a I joke. Can't stand oh, it. she went near it last week for a joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't right. even touch it. No, I didn't he's like crazy. Yeah. Oh dear. I, I don't mind like um just standard like dairy milk whole yeah. nut. That's good. Yeah. It's got to have hazelnuts in. What about like a di- dame dime? Nah, fuck them off. Uh, Ridiculous. Really? Ridiculous. Uh, Get munchies tea for about a week. Munchies. Big fan of Love munchies. Yeah, they're Love decent. Munchies. I used to be a big toffee crisp lover. Oh, I like a toffee yeah, crisp. I, I feel like toffee crisps go like that. You can yeah. eat them, just boom. You can yeah. pop them in. You can have about six in a yeah. minute. Similar. I'll tell you what, right? I went around my mates the other the other week. <clears throat> Shout out to Dan. And and <laughs> this is when I knew, do you know what? The kid's doing all right in life, right? So I went into his fridge. Don't tell me Ferrero Rocher. No, oh no. Well, he's not doing that well. <laughs> Fucking hell. No. Now, right? Kit Kats, wait for it. Four bars, not the two bars that you oh, normally get, mate. I was fingers. like, Dan, you got four bar Kit Kats in here, mate. You had a pay rise. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I, mean? I went to brilliant. the shop yesterday and I got myself a Kit Kat Sensors. What's that? Have you not heard of this? What's that? Is it new? This Are is like little new bags? luxurious Kit Kat. That's like it, it can it You can can't... Jack could never do an advert <laughs> like a sexy. M&S at I gave up halfway through. I went luxurious Kit Kat. <laughs> Look, it's Kit Kat, and it's, it's called Sensors. This right? isn't just it's, any Kit Kat. It's a luxurious <laughs> Sensors Kit Kat. Oh. It comes as a one finger, mm. right? With seventy p, bit steep for a one finger, for a single yeah. finger yeah. Kit Kat. But the, the finger was girthier. Is it right? a chunky? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. No, it's it's a chunky. chunky. It's not a chunky. Shout out to Kit Kat no, chunkies, by the I way. I reckon it was probably um, one Kit Kat finger doubled, so two. <laughs> 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 Sometimes Sorry. I really feel like you don't think yeah. before you talk. First, it was you can't work out where the other half of a sandwich has gone. And now it's right, so, so at least he found the other half. Of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh so, wow! So what I'm saying, yeah. So it's like two, double two of two of them, two Kit Kat fingers in one. So not quite chunky level, but. Somewhat, somewhat thicker than the average a Kit bit Kat, of and it was girth. called a hazelnut one. And I'm a sucker for anything hazelnut. I love it. Yeah, so I bought it, seventy p. Thank you very much, sir. Walking down the street, had it. Just tastes like Kit Kat. <laughs> so I they can... had you. Yeah, you were done. Yeah, well, you've been mugged off by Kit Kat. Yeah, oh, I was. Oh, and, and and I used to absolutely. If you'd have, if we'd have done this show a year ago, uh, <laughs> it would have still been pointless. <laughs> if we'd have done it a year ago. Um, I would have told you I love anything uh, peanut butter right. so much so yeah, where yeah, it became yeah. a bit of a meme on my on my channel and at Summer in the City lots of people out there were bringing me peanut butter type things yeah. but Fiona's mum caught wind of this 
And for the past two Christmases, she's just given me so much oh, peanut butter that Jesus, I can't. Jesus, I'm mate. like, oh, I can't yeah. do it now. Like, I, I accidentally mentioned once that I like Disarano, and then all of a sudden for Christmas I was getting three, four bottles. Yeah, and now I can't even touch the stuff. Do you, like, can you not? It just, yeah, it got yeah. too sweet. Yeah. Too. I used to love that as well, yeah. but you can so, have too much of a good thing. Al- Al- almondy, almondy, almond, yeah, yeah. A- and marzipan, isn't it? yeah, yeah, because yeah. it just tastes like Dr Pepper, doesn't it? That's yeah, why well, I yeah. drink oh, it. A night, yeah, but and I, I made that mistake once. I had a night out on this. Serrano and Coke, and the next day I had a can of Dr. Pepper I wanted to throw up. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Totally hung over. Yeah. Really like, That's pretty much happened to me after this weekend with you. Yeah. When we went and watched football and stuff, we were just drinking fruity cider all night. Yeah. And it got to about three in the morning, and my teeth just felt like they were oh, falling off. Yeah. Mate. Then I went back to Guinness, and yeah. then I was like, oh. Yeah, no, Jesus, too thick. What a trade off. So we, we've, we've done our chocolates. Um, but the but the actual question was snacks. What is your snack? But but we've delved into it because now I want to talk about crisps. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. But but <clears throat> on a whole, are we going chocolate or crisp? Well, see, this is I was. Do you know what? When you said what sort of snack, I kind of realised actually I'm going to have to take it away from Tesco and give it back to Co-op. And I'll tell you why because Co-op do chicken satay sticks and sweet chili dip. I've. That's what I don't. When I then came here to the studio, that's what I was eating on my way here. I got, I got twelve chicken um, satays. Yeah, <coughs> mate, I love chicken satays. Yeah, and I was just walking down the street eating so them and then good. just flinging the cocktail sticks. Never had it. Biodegradable I mean, nuts. nuts Bio de- what nuts? Satay is nuts. Is what? it? Yeah, I thought huh? it was just chicken. That's why I've never had it. That's just chicken, mate. No, the satay part is. I swear it is. I, I've always been nutty. told I can't eat it. There's nothing nutty about a chicken satay. No, as far I'm as I sure swear. And I'm sure a satay, isn't it? Satay. I just want a satay. Satay. Is it? Satay's like a Tory way. <laughs> <laughs> when he buys it from M&S, it's, it's satay. Chicken yeah. satay. <laughs> yeah. No, but Alfie, get the satays. <laughs> That's exactly what I just had on the way here. Is it? Yeah, so that's good. But yeah, chocolate, what are you going Decent. for? No, no, sorry, crisps, what are you going for? Crisps. Ooh. I can be quite bland. So I really like Walker's Baked, the blue ones, cheese and onion Walker's Baked. They're not too bad. They're quite They're good. They're not too bad. I like, the, um, no. I like the... I like the... I'm, I'm quite a Thai, Thai chili guy. I like I like the um, Walker's Sun Bites, the, the Thai chili ones. I can't, oh, I know what you They're mean. Like are pink, they the black? Oh. red oh. Like, bag. I like, I like the baked. green one. Yeah, the sour cream ones. Yeah. They're nice. They're nice. I can't um, say I've really delved into that. They're pretty decent. They're I don't often decent. go for crisps. If I'll I tell do... you what I had for the, the the other day, for the first time in ages, with a meal deal. I decided to go for skips. Oh, I haven't had skips since I was 12. Skip. Yeah, see, that's, <laughs> I was pretty much the same. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to enjoy myself. Yeah, they... Skips and quavers and what's it. They're the three yeah. that you don't yeah. have once you hit like the age of 14. Skips. Yeah, which is a shame. Skips they're, are they're good. Premier. They're very low maintenance skips. You, you can put them in your mouth and you don't... Yeah, yeah. You don't even yeah. have to chew. That's it, yeah. Just... Yeah, let the calories dissolve into your <laughs> that's mouth. It, yeah. um, that's w- it. What's it? I don't like because you'll be picking them out for four days oh, straight. Mate. Plus, they stain your fingers. Horrible. Yeah. Um, I don't like. It. I do. I, I like. I'm a big fan of crisps. Right. I'll eat crisps all day long, but I'm not a big fan of Maisy crisps. Yeah. So because they, they, they do me in a bit. They, they chip, stick chip sticks. Chip sticks are lovely. I mean, they're they're very potent in their flavour, mm. which I think gives them a lot. But I always go for. Um, Meal deal, McCoy's. I'm, yeah, I'm not you're a man. man. I'm, a, I'm a man. You're I'm a, a geezer. Man. I'm a man's man. I'm a, if True Geordie <laughs> was here right now, he'd be high fiving me across the table. <laughs> you know I mean? But I like the salt and vinegar ones because they are the most. They are the second most salt and vinegar crisp you can get, and I also like the steak ones. Oh flame yeah, steak. Flame grilled to go steak completely McCoy's. against your manliness. Occasionally, What's I get the sauce. I get the popcorn. The you can get oh, like the low geez, calorie the low like KEI. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Is out. <laughs> He's done. That's it. Later, He's Jack. off. You He's fucked it. Occasionally. That is fucking stupid. <laughs> He's so angry. He's literally stood up. That is fucking stupid. Wow. Why the, is that the, the stupid? Rage. Popcorn in a meal deal. Yeah, like, no, because it's off. good. It comes in like a crisp packet, doesn't it? Piss I know off. which ones. I've never the had yellow, them. I've oh, never had I know I've, I've seen the packet. And Sweet I, I, popcorn. I must admit, I, I I look at them and think exactly what Jack just said, like popcorn in a meal yeah, deal. What the fuck? Because I think popcorn, I don't mix I think it with cinema. my fucking sandwich. You, well, should, you should be embarrassed by that shout. That is awful. That, I apologise yeah. to the listeners. <laughs> I apologise to my family. That's it. I've got to give an, a, a special mention here. Me and Ooh. my cousin Sonny were speaking about this last night, as luck would have it. Um, Pringles mm. are so underrated. I don't even care if people rate them. They will always be underrated. We walked into Asda and you were like, I'll eat a whole 
pot of those. I'll it? eat a whole tub. And I bought some because they are the most salt and vinegar. I said McCoy's were the second oh, most. Yeah. They are the most salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar yeah. you can get. Fair. And I will go for a whole fucking tub. I like, what... the, I like the Texas, what is it? Is it Texas barbecue? Barbecue. Yeah. Good shout. That's Good. probably, that's in my top two then yeah. too. Yeah. With the salt Great and vinegar, flavor. I've just got to say this is the most passionate I've ever been in a podcast. <laughs> yeah. so, you have really woke up. We all have woke up. Yeah, right? I've been suffering with hay fever today. I feel fine now. <laughs> Talking about crisps is my antihistamine. <laughs> You're more passionate about this than you are about some of your actual videos on your YouTube channel. I mean, we had KSI sat here. Do you know what I mean? I was nodding off. <laughs> like, <laughs> nothing to do with KSI. He's great. Yeah. But I just mean, he just never told us about his meal deal. Yeah. He's just not a packet of crisps. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with salt and vinegar, right? Guys out there, um, I know a lot of you will be youngsters and, and, and a lot of you out there are probably normal people that don't do drugs. Great, right? But on, I want to know crisps. where this is yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. If you don't do drugs, right, but you want a little buzz in life every now and then, <laughs> Eat a whole tub of salt and vinegar Pringles <laughs> and you, your mouth will all go fuzzy like, inside. <laughs> and then whenever you eat anything later on, you'll get a little tingle in your mouth. And yeah. it's, like, it's kind of That's like That's where the salt has killed your taste buds. Yeah, I know. But it, it feels like almost, you know, it feels like the inside of my mouth yeah. has had a bath for too long. <laughs> yeah, no, I know raining. exactly what you mean. Yeah, no, 100%. I know exactly what you mean. But Question. I, I, yes. Do you like the sour cream ones? Yes. I do. But, but. I, I really like them. I love the taste, but I don't like eating them around people because they're so pungent. So I just think like I can I can smell it on my breath. Yeah. Like it's, it, yeah do you so guys do anything avoid. weird with food? The the only reason I bring this up is because I know oh, something I do we really go. weird oh, with sour here cream we Pringles. Here we go. Are we? Are we? This in, you're not going back down the Ben and Jerry's route, are you? He please, sticks them up his ass. <laughs> I don't feed them to a lady. No, I'm go. not him. Um, sour Let's cream Pringles. This this is probably worse than your toast thing. Yeah. Dipping Jesus. your tea in toast. I never wanted to mention it because I know how you'll. Yeah, I dip my tea and toast. Soggy apparently. biscuits. How do I dip my tea and toast? <laughs> pour it on a plate of bread. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. You know what I meant. He dips yeah. his toast in his tea. Yes. I used to. I've not done this in years now. Right. But I remember as a kid, I used to do this thing where I'd get Pringles. And can you remember squirty cream that you could put on like a flan? Oh, you dirty I'd put bastard. squirty cream what on top of a Pringle and then eat that, that sour cream that has some sour cream. rancid. You try it. Go home, people. I'd... Go buy some <laughs> sour cream Pringles. I'm not Pringles. with that. I, I like the question, but I don't want to take it away from we're still on the meal deal okay. question. <laughs> so we will get back to that in due course. Um, weird food habits is coming up, guys. So, yeah, so stay it. tuned. That's and um, But we, we've got to confirm our crisps and then we'll go to a quick break. So my crisps are salt and vinegar McCoy's, Stevie. Oh my God. I very rarely get, maybe just Walker's Baked, <sighs> and cheese and onion. Thai, the, the, the sun bites. Yeah, yep. the Thai sweet chili sun bites. When we come back, we're going to be picking our drink for our meal deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And we're going to be talking about weird um, food habits and then we're going to probably talk about favourite home cooked meal. See you oh, in a bit. going to be Ben and Jerry's again. Hello guys and welcome back to this bonus episode of Jack Makes Happy Hour. Jordan, Stevie and I are discussing favourite foods. And just, yes. it, it, it's, it's an episode that I thought was going to be shit, <laughs> but I'm so <laughs> into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying this a lot. I can imagine that we're going to get a lot of tweets and a lot of comments, hopefully, um, from people saying that it made them hungry. I hope so. Um, I hope but, so. But I mean, food is great. Food is one of these simple pleasures in life. I could 100%. give up. I, I mean, I genuinely think if I wanted to, I could... I could um, give up a lot of th a lot of things. Give up drinking. Give up partying. Give up all my bad habits in life. Sometimes I have a cigarette. I could give that up easy. I don't think I can give up junk food, man. Yeah. I try so hard, and then I just see like a seventy p Kit Kat sense. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, to, I've got yeah. to have it. This is why I'm yeah. really confused. I know we're gonna we're gonna get onto the final part of the meal deal, mm. but we've gone however many minutes into this one. Mm. You haven't mentioned Domino's once. Uh, and that shocks me. Because uh, I kind of did want to go pizza flavor as a question. Okay, but I, I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing what we've mind. got time for. Yeah, I've got kind of like a running order <laughs> in my head. Be of... a part two, I yeah. think. <laughs> <laughs> of all the ones we thought we just we'd have a sub series. <laughs> so it's all about food. Yeah, but um, no. So we've got we've got our crisps down. We've got our um, uh, sandwiches down. What um, drink are we going for? Oh, I think you made a good point just to interject real quick when you said about the the big Red Bull, all yeah. the innocent movies. Yeah. Just, just take advantage of that profit. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. No, so. without a doubt. I mean, that's that. It depends on what I'm doing. Like if if I. So this is how I'll describe. So my drinks is there's one of two. Mm. <clears throat> it's either I'm feeling healthy. I'll go for the co-op dragon fruit mandarin vitamin water thing because it just tastes so good. Yeah, it tastes so good. If I'm going for profit margins, hundred percent. 
uh, sugar, Red Bull, biggest size. That's basically your meal deal price in one can. Perfect. Everything else is profit. Stevie? This way you're both going to hate me. I don't like energy drink because it just reminds me of Jager Bomb. So right. I can't, I cannot drink energy Fair. drinks. No, I, um, I get that. I don't drink fizzy drinks, really. Right. Good for you, I see. very rarely drink fizzy drinks. If I do, I'd have to make sure I've got no sugar. So I try to avoid that. A lot of the time, I genuinely get water. That's fine. But if not, I'd get um, Innocent Smoothie. One of like the superfood one, the purpley kind oh, of colour. So mm. nice. I go for the traditional one. If you if you get the Innocent Smoothie traditional, you get the mango or the strawberry. What one are you more inclined to go for? Mm, mango. Probably mango. Oh, I'm a strawberry. I don't like strawberry that much. Well, that would explain why exactly. you don't go for it. So fair enough, sir. But yeah, no, water like, more than anything. Yeah. Mm. I've got to give a special mention here to something that I've been addicted to for a long time. You'll see them in the meal deals now. They're cropping up all over the place. But I remember two years ago, not a lot of places did these. And I had to search for them. And I even looked on Amazon to bulk buy them. Ooh. The cold coffee, Starbucks logo, latte. <laughs> Fucking lovely. Again, in Asda, he picked one. He went, I really fancy one. He picked one up. They're like £1.80 just for the smallest thing. There's yeah. only like 300 mil. And he picked one up and put it in his basket. And he just stood there and just kept picking them up. And put it. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I have gone into Asda before numerous times. Fiona will vouch for this. If we get back on the podcast, she'll vouch for it. I have gone into Asda before and picked up trays of them. Really? And scanned them at the Like thing. 15 of them at once. Yeah, 15 of them. Yeah, 25 quid on coffees. That is one of my little luxuries in life that I have I, I allow to myself. <laughs> really? Yeah, I just, I don't know why. I just fucking, I just, I just love them. I love waking up in the morning, in the summer, swiping a cold coffee, straw in, sipping it, See. start your day. I I oh, I cannot tolerate <clears throat> anything coffee, not not no not not a cup of coffee, not cold coffee, not latte, not coffee cake, not Kahula coffee alcohol, like nothing coffee. Really, I cannot fucking mm. stand. I'm not the biggest fan. Coffee. I like an iced tea. All. Do you? An yeah. iced tea I can go for like a peach iced just, tea. Just conventional builder's tea. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is that heavy? I like it. I like it strong. Oh. No sugar. That's it. So we've done it. We've we've actually managed to make a meal deal. Only took us forty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, Shit. yeah. What well, what did we say we we're going to go on to after that? Um, Discussing oh, yeah. food, food habits. Yeah, food, food habits. habits. I think we don't really need to go into mine. I've spoken about it numerous times no. in this podcast. For any new <coughs> listeners of the show, I dip my toast in my tea. Oh, the, I've got one. The toast has got to be buttery because at the end your tea then tastes a little bit of butter. Lovely, sweet. Fair play. Fair play. What's mine. Yours? Mine is just a chocolate delight. Um, so it, basically, uh, you get Nesquik, you get Cocoa Pops, you get Weetos, you put it all in one bowl, you fill it with milk, you then get a penguin chocolate biscuit. Right. Break it up, put it in there. You have the best bowl of cereal you'll ever have in your life. That sounds like a lot of effort. But it's That's worth like a it. six pound cereal. No, well, just have a bowl of Crave. Crave is up there. Crave's good. I Crave is up there. Never but but, but that, that's for me. I've done it a few times and it's I have to say it's, it's a treat. It's a treat. So what, what is it? Cocoa Pops? Cocoa Pops, Weetos, Nesquik. Purely, and let me just explain, they're just my three favourite chocolate, uh, or at the time, my three favourite chocolate cereals, right? So I was like, I'm just going to put them all in one bowl. And then and then I just thought, oh, just for a bit of crunch, extra crunch, I'll just break up a penguin. I think that's not that bad until the penguin goes in. That's when it gets a bit weird. I don't think me. it gets bad, though. I think they, them things no. all complement each other. They're just chocolate. And then they? the it's other thing is, when there's penguins in there, right, it starts to soften with the milk, so you get a little soft penguin in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that is a sentence I never thought I'd, I, I'd ever hear. Get a little soft yeah, penguin yeah. in I just imagine David Attenborough saying it. <laughs> it starts to soften, and slowly you get a soft penguin in your mouth. <laughs> like that. I have, um, there we go. It's good. You should try it, guys. The, mm. the thing that's actually come to mind about the weird food habits is um, I, know a, I know a lady who um, she does oh. two really weird things. She's had... Bragging. <laughs> I know a lady. Um, she's had tuna with banana. Dirty. Oh, dirty. Weird, dirty. weird dirty. as no. fuck. Dirty bitch. No. <laughs> she, she's a rimmer. And then this is the weird one. But she... Please she... don't say she... <laughs> <laughs> That's my grandma. Oh, uh, no, it's Jesus. not. And um, this, this is a out. weird one that I might be able to talk you guys round because she talked me round. Right. She makes like chicken wraps at home. Okay. And then puts hula hoops in them. And I right. thought, yeah, same okay. reaction. You're like, that's weird as fuck. Okay. And then she went, I mean, put I, crisps in sandwich. I, I, I was going to say, I put crisps in sandwich. And then yeah. the thing that still puts me off is a warm sandwich with crisps in it. Mm. But I don't see what's so wrong now about having crisps in a chicken wrap. And it kind of bothers me because hearing it, I'm going, oh, that's grim. 
Yeah, I'm on the fence about that. But not tuna and banana. See, but you might have Chris hula hoop tuna. Don't worry about tuna. Yeah, <laughs> that's the issue. You <laughs> might, you... <laughs> but think of the consistency of tuna, like mayo, and then think of the consistency of a banana. Those two together is just slodge in your no, mouth. That's fucking rank. That's not that going around any that's... time soon. Have you ever They'll... done a Coke float? Yes. Oh, when you put ice cream in a... as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, not bad. Bit, yeah, a bit. <laughs> that's not bad. No, that's giving me weird. some memories. Yeah, oh, I yeah, yeah. Years. That's yeah, not... yeah. There's a few American style restaurants. Who here? Because oh. I know some weird people out there do this. Right. Dips their McDonald's chips into their McFlurry. I was, yes. I was then gonna say that, yeah. or, or their milkshakes. Oh, I'm not. A, I'm not a massive fan. Uh, not in know, a milkshake. I, I, I do it sometimes, but not not like in the McFlurry. I also don't they're, mind they're if the chip touches the Smarties or something. I'll, I'll have a bit of What, this. a hot chip in a cold cream? Have you tried it? They released it I on... Don't, um, I can't... Do you see what they did on April Fool's Day this year, McDonald's? What? They posted everywhere that they were bringing out an ice cream sauce, like in a, in a, in a in their sauce pots. They they brought out that they were going to do an ice cream one for everyone that does the milkshake thing. But obviously, it was just bollocks for April Fool's. So even, like even they're logic. mugging you up. 100%, yeah, yeah. No, it's because they're saying there's no lot, and you couldn't have logic in that. But no, try it. Until you try it, I don't think you can... You need to hold judgment out on that one. You've not t- tried dipping your t- toast in tea. I don't need your attitude, Jack. I haven't come out <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Right. Have right. you ever tried things that have failed? I tried once at once at college. I, I was just like, yeah, I'm struggling, mate. <laughs> now, once at college, I was like, sauce. I, had, I bought a sausage roll. I bought a chocolate bar. <clears throat> I was like, well, I like sausage rolls, and I like chocolate bars, so I just bit them both at the same time. <laughs> Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah, uh, I can tell um, your college days were boring. Oh, mate. 100%. <laughs> I can tell he didn't pass. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, 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 you scraped it. <laughs> what, what's, your, what's your go to? I think we're all unanimous in the decision that we don't want pineapple on pizza. Fuck no. Mm. Fuck no. Don't I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose to order it, but if it was there, I wouldn't <sighs> scrape it off. For me, oh, that's on par of be, as being a flat earther. I think I get the logic. sentiment. Yeah. I get the sentiment. I know what you mean. Um, so what's your go to? We'll just bash through this. What's your go to pizza, mate? I'm simple as fuck. Meat feast. What just brand? Uh, Domino's. Yes. Yeah. Anyone who Domino's. picks Papa John's garlic and herbs dip <coughs> is incredible. Yeah. Papa John's garlic butter dip is horrific. Yeah. Awful. Awful. Actually awful. horrific. Yeah. I gave it a shot like a month or two back, and I was like, that is, uh, is literally putting butter on your pizza. Yeah. It's awful. I it's can't even taste thing. the fucking garlic. I actually turned down a brand deal with Papa John's because I Did feel you? so devoted to really? Domino's. Yeah. <laughs> and no. I, cause, like, on my live streams and that, I give away Domino's to people. I like yeah. to spread the love. So Domino's, if you are watching, I've been a very loyal man to you for it a long, really long has. time. So please do sponsor this. Wouldn't it be good if we got a po- um, Domino's deal? Financially, yes. But away from that, we just <laughs> we sat just here eat and Domino's oh, whilst we do mate. this. Yeah. That would be quality. There we go. Domino's. Hit Give me a call. Up. Give me a call, please. Hook us up. Yeah, so what you got? You going for a meat feast? Hundred, yeah, every time. Stevie, every time. Love it. I've told you this before. I'm a bit fussy, but it's not oh. my fault. There's a reason. Right. You don't order Domino's expecting to eat the whole pizza at once, do you? Yeah. You know you're having some cold pizza. No. That what? leads me on to the next question. So, you know you're having... S- Come on, most people, you get a large on purpose because it's two quid yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, you're not yeah. going to eat the whole thing at once. So I order knowing I'm going to have some cold. I prefer a tomato base on my pizza, but cold, I much prefer the barbecue base. Yeah. Oh. So I do a half and half uh-huh. and get like something... Pe- <laughs> that is easy. <laughs> is that he went, ah. Oh. <laughs> He's gone, <laughs> I've revolutionised yeah. his plans. Yeah. And they do tomato base on one half, barbecue base on the other. So I'll get like a meteor... But I always get rid of pepperoni. It's too greasy for me. It makes the pizza go a bit soggy. I like pepperoni. And on the other half, I get like ham and mushroom and red onion or something. See, mushroom can go and fuck off and die. I don't mind a mushroom. No. I love mushrooms. No. Well, I'm, this, I'm so glad Text. you bring me this. I love how like, happy yeah. you're getting about right? it. You know at Nando's, you get a very select amount of sides, yeah? Mm. So you can go for the garlic bread, which is great. Garlic's, is. Um, the garlic yeah. bread at Nando's is great. You can get peri chips, you can get the veg, you can get sweet corn. Halloumi. Uh, yeah, halloumi, great shell. A lot of people recently have um, been mugging me off because I tend to get some sweet corn. Uh, corn yeah. on the cob, right? They say it's weak. My cousin Sonny, who I mentioned earlier on, he gets a mushroom. At Nando's. Are you joking? And it comes in a tray, and it's just one the mushroom. And I was like, that is such a waste of potential Nando's That is sides. weird as fuck. But I remember... Yeah. I put, Jesus, I put a um, picture up when me and you had a Nando's date once. Me and Jack went to Nando's, and I posted a picture of you. And at the time, you had your corn on a cob, and the amount oh, of replies... how you eat it? I got no. so many replies of people saying that you're like a nonce and stuff, because... 
rather than eating. Because of kids. <laughs> no, sorry. Because yeah. he doesn't eat, yeah, he doesn't eat sweet yeah, corn, just know, how I, you do, yeah, like, in no, your mouth. Nice he scrapes it off. Side. Yeah, that I, freaked me out. I'm glad you bring that up, Stevie. I went to Nando's once upon a time in Norwich, Riverside. I was eating up corn on the cob in the traditional manner, the way in which you should do. Two little prongs either side, gnawing at it like a beaver would gnaw at a, a, like a yeah. bit of wood. And, um, and somebody took a picture of me. Have you seen this on Twitter? No. On, on Instagram? I'll have to show you, right? Somebody's recognised me in there, and they've taken a picture of me, um, impromptu photo of me, gnawing at this. Oh at this and like, it looks like I've got my old jaw back all of a sudden. I'm <laughs> wrapping my mouth around that thing. And he posted it, and it, it didn't go viral, but it got like a few hundred likes and that. And everyone was like, what the fuck? And I thought that is the ugliest photo I've ever seen. So now, yes, I put my corn on the cob. Um, so that's uh, why. Uh, do you do that because of that photo? And I knife and I scrape off the corn from the cob. I think basically no matter what you do, As you're doing something why. wrong. Well, if That's you see mad. me in Nando's, please do not just take photos. <laughs> Come over, have a selfie, but don't get me mid corn bite, please. Yeah, yeah. please. As if that's why. Yeah. Makes sense, though. There Makes we sense, go. Though. So, so you've you've um, you've exposed an insecurity of mine there, Stevie. I'm but sorry. I'm, there you go. I'm, I'm happy to give that out to the to the people. <clears throat> I think uh, we've obviously got a guest coming very very soon. We're about to record another episode of this. Can However, just... go on. Quickly ask a question. Very one word. I've hot got, I've pizza, got... hot or cold? What's better? Hot. Hot. Cold. I'm a sucker for hot. I stuff. would much rather I'll, uh, stick a pizza. I'll, I'll, I'll like you say, whatever's left over, stick it in the fridge, mate. I can't wait for the following morning. Really? Oh, I do love a cold, mate. But... Oh, really? Yes, please. Cold pizza. Nah. Yes. I, I, I like yes. it cold, but it's better hot. My final part in question, unless you've got a question. Oh my god, you go, you go. What? You're on death row. Ah, okay. yeah. We we haven't really got the time to delve into the dynamics of this, but we want starters, mains, desserts, home cooked. Right. Don't just go. I'll have a Big Mac. Home yeah, yeah, cooked. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. are you going for? Right. Starters. Should... I'm going to kick off with just some chicken wings. Okay. I'm going to go for uh, some sticky barbecue ribs. But I want I want the little dish with lemon water for me to jump in with my fingertips. Well, you're about to die anyway. So don't <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about your hands? Yeah. I'll I'd do. probably go garlic <laughs> bread because then it's a different type of food to the rest of it. So you get a bit of a mixture. But it bloats you. Bread bo bloats you, meaning you might not have enough room to finish your main course. Mate, I'm mm. dying. I'll eat it all. And in garlic bread, the same. You can eat it cold. So only half half of it. Wait and then see uh, if you want it all yeah. later. Okay, cool. What are you going for your mains? It's a big question here now. Okay. Some tense music coming in now. Okay. Cool. So is uh, this someone cooking for you or is this you cooking for you? Because it's homemade. Also, it doesn't, have to, know. it doesn't have to make sense, does it? No. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for a lasagna. Good. Okay. That's Love very good. That's, lasagna. That might be mine. I've well. lived. I've lived alone for like seven years <laughs> Where's now. This going? I've lived alone for seven years now. So home cooked <laughs> meals to me. My mum also cannot cook to save her life. So home cooked <laughs> meals to me are whatever I make. The best thing I make, which I always love making, is like fajita wraps, mm. like proper chicken and yeah, peppers and all of that. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Again, yeah. All that kind of thing. So I'd, I'd love that. Ooh. That's not a bad shout. I think I would probably go lasagna yeah. as well, but for the sake of mixing it up and choosing something different, I'm going to go for a mixed grill. Okay. You love a mixed grill. I just like meat. I'm a big fan of meat, so I can never be go. a vegan as long as flip, I live. Flip that. Um, <laughs> and finally, the desserts. A sticky toffee pudding. I'm not a dessert man. <laughs> I thought you'd go better than coffee or a <laughs> cheese board. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a cheese board. Cheese. Not a big Sticky fan of cheese. Sticky toffee pudding, hot custard. That'll do me. Let's get the elect electrocution chair out and get over and done with. <laughs> Yours? Probably ice cream because there's so many different flavours. And then on the day you can kind of choose. But then I could have a sticky toffee pudding with a little ball of ice cream with it yeah. instead of custard. Although I don't like cheese, I, it's got to be said, I fucking love a cheesecake. So yeah. I'm going to go for a peanut butter cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. Fucking lovely. Brilliant. There, there we, we go. go. This has been my favourite podcast I think I've ever done <laughs> in my life. And I'll be always up for doing a sequel uh, to this. Do you know what this was This was like? You know when you have that spontaneous night out, like no one expected it, and then it turns out to be a fucking quality night out. That's yeah. what this podcast was. There we go. And, th and them nights out are always good because they finish with a kebab. So it's always <laughs> there go. Oh, it all even, ties in. Yeah. We don't have time to talk about kebabs. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we don't usually ask to be too interactive on this channel or on, on, on here on iTunes or wherever you may be listening or watching, but this time get involved. Yes. Let us know. What do you agree with? What don't you agree with? What's your god tier stuff? What's your shit tier yeah. stuff? Let us know. Thanks, Doody Rhino. Not a problem. It's Thanks, DB Eleven White. That's alright. And thank you, Jack, mate. That's alright. See you later, guys. Quality. <laughs>
Oh, that was funny.